Welcome back to Cleveland on the Rocks. Hello, I'm Bernmar. And I'm Matt. And that's Keith. And we got a new beer from Great Lakes, the 35th anniversary. Welcome back, guys. So we got our bottle here from Great Lakes. And we all know Great Lakes is right down here in Cleveland. And 35 years ago, they started their company. Yeah. And they came out with this Imperial Amber Lager aged in bourbon barrels. And not just any bourbon barrels. These are aged in Bullet bourbon barrels. We all know Bullet. That's the thing you guys all order at the bar. You get the red label Bullet and you do the thing. My favorite's the black. I like that one and it's awesome. But this one is a... What percent is this one? 12.1. 12.1%. Yeah, That's so this killer. is really weird for a lager because usually you're not going to get much higher than 6 or 7% See? at the top end. So they made this into an imperial, this almost like killer. a and uh, aged it in bourbon. So it's, it's going to be different, I'll say. Heck yeah. Keith is telling me this is going to be one of the ones that's in the colors where I'm usually not the biggest fan of. But we're going to see what we taste on this one. So yeah, there's... Actually, this is a darker than normal yellow. There are yellow. two types of lagers usually. There's an amber... You know, well, there, there's, never mind. But anyways, there's an amber and then more of a pale yellowish color. Okay. So, Great Lakes has amber ales and amber lagers. Very popular. Um... And then this one they did with actually barrel aging, which you don't hear a lot of. Because they don't do that lagers. down there very often, right? Um, or is they, it? they do, but not with lagers. They'll yeah. do it with their stouts. They'll yep. do it with their uh, ales, like the Christmas ales and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But you don't hear lagers being done ever. Right. So Wasn't last year the first year that they did a barrel age for their Christmas ale? They had a regular Christmas ale out, and then they had a barrel aged one that was out. I can't say that for sure. I believe they would do it in-house for their brew pub and stuff like that, but okay. it might be the first time... They bottled it and sent right. it to the stores. Because yeah. I seen it last year, and I'm like, why is there two different ones? And they would they had them in the bombers. Yep. The 22 they ounce. Had the big or, ones. You know, that type of thing. But... Um, I'm sure they've done it before, or I would assume they've done it before, but you know, it might be one of the few times they actually released it outside of their brewery, brew pub area. This one, this one didn't have a lot of head when I poured it in no. there. So, so you got to kind of spin it to bring yeah, it out. It, it brought out when we spin it, but okay. Yeah, there we go. Open it up a little bit. Let's see what we get here. I feel like you're smelling something. He wants to say it, but he's not. He was nice. He, I get the malty flavor. It. So there's you definitely get some malt going on there. <laughs> All right. This one's a, it's a different. I don't think it's a bad scent, really. No, this smells better not. than a normal beer that my buddies are over here drinking. And I'm like, dude, your beer smells not very good. This actually doesn't smell off putting at all. Yeah, you get some, uh, get some malt in there. It's almost like a barley scent in there, too. Mm. And I'm t I don't get much more than that. There was something at the end that I was smelling, but I didn't want to say it was the barrel or anything like that because it almost had like a sweeter smell to it, so. I'll give you that. There's a very easy nose feel on the end where I don't know how to describe it, but I don't get a barrel char or anything like that in this. I'm still not, I'm, I've been trying to work it out of there and I'm not getting it to come out here. It's all malt and, and barley. Like very this light last barley. one, I, I got kind of a boozy smell, but that, that's about it. There's not a whole lot to search for. Yeah, there's not a whole lot going on there. This, this, I feel like this is going to be an easy one. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers guys. Oh, wow. That's like savory. That's crazy. Okay. So, hmm, that's different. There's not a lot of flavor in there that I would pull out. So, I get like a... I always get this like burnt caramel taste with red ales, uh, amber ales, stuff like that. So it's not exactly like burnt caramel or caramel or whatever you want to say, but to me, that's what it reminds me of. Huh? Yeah, I don't, I don't really, I don't get that. But I mean, I honestly, I, there's not a lot of yellow beers that I go through. So, but to be honest with you, this isn't bad. I just don't know how to describe this. I'm at like a loss for words here. 
And you get the, okay, so when I have a malted whiskey and it has that malt taste on the end, the malt's all the way through. It's from the tip of your tongue all the way to the back of your throat. It goes down super easy. It's not hot at all. Um, it doesn't dry your mouth out, so I can't say that about it at all. This, it's just an easy sipping beer. Yeah. Like, I, I think, and I don't know how to describe this to be 100% honest with you. <laughs> I'm usually not like that. I don't know. It's good. That's all I can really say. This right. one is just good. It's the first one I've been kind of just shut down on where I don't even know. Like, it's it's there. It's good. Because it's definitely not your normal lager. And they're not even saying it is because they're calling it an amber lager. Mm -hmm. So, it, it has that amber color and that amber flavor that you get from the malts being roasted and stuff like that. It, it's, it's a light barley taste in your mouth is what I'm getting. And the second taste is all, it's just a light barley the malt is there, and you taste it throughout your mouth, um, but it, it stays in your mouth, and it's a good taste. Mm. And that's very unusual for me to say that there's a yellow beer that's a good taste yeah. for me, because, I mean, if you've watched any of these, you'll, you'll, you see the ones that I like and don't like, and this is actually really good. I would drink these. How much is one of these? It's up there. I want to say the four-pack was 17 18 bucks. That's not bad, so. though. Really? And this is something that not everybody's going to have. This no. is a really cool bottle. I don't think this is going to be out there for very long because once people taste this, I mean, to be honest with you, if you're going out there and you're drinking beers and like normal beers, this one kills them. Like, this is great. I've, I have tried all the other like different beers, like the Coronas and the stuff and the whatever, but let me just, this is really good. This is one that like you could almost be one of those drinkers. Yeah. Try this and not be overwhelmed by it. Yeah. Where like a lot of other craft beers you're gonna be like "Ooh, this is nowhere near what i'm used to drinking so i'm gonna set this down but yeah it's it's pretty fresh uh refreshing uh clean it, it you is know. it tastes like we just drank it right off of the tap yeah. instead of in a bottle which honestly most of you guys that drink beer know that when you have a beer out of a bottle it's not usually as good as it is off of the tap now, it can still be good, but the fact of the matter is that if you were to have it off the tap, it would taste ultimately better. Well, this one already gives you that off the tap taste. It's very easy. It's very good. It coats your mouth like butter almost. It's got a butterness to it where it just coats your mouth and stays there. And it's a good taste that stays there. I just can't describe it still. <laughs> like malt and barley, and it's there. It's just like a normal beer that you would drink on an everyday thing. But I'm going to say this. I think that the barrel probably takes out that tinginess that I don't like in beer. That might be it, yeah. And I think this cleared it out so well, and that barrel filtered this out to the point to where me, the guy that doesn't really do the normal yellow beers, actually, I, I think this is absolutely fantastic for a yellow beer, to be honest with you. I mean, and it's not really yellow yellow. It's more <laughs> amberish, but right. this but is really freaking good. And I know when you're just when you're saying yellow beer, you're talking about the lagers, the uh, ales, um, those types mm -hmm. where when they're normally poured out, they do look yellow. Mm -hmm. um, and even the ambers, ales or lagers, gives that similar get the yellow flavor. tint to it. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, that to me is a yellow beer. I'm usually in the stout area, in like the you know what I'm saying, like the more. I don't know the other ones, but the, the stouts and porters and stuff. And that's usually my thing. But this one, for a, a lighter in the glass beer, this is really freaking good. I like this. I would not be mad if you gave me one of these. So any of you guys that knows me, if I'm coming to your house, let me you just pick these up and I'll be happy. No, this is this is really good, though. I think Great Lakes does a lot of really cool stuff. Um, There is some of the stuff that they do down there in the basement that I really like in those weird goblet glasses. And it's like a super dark black beer. And it's the best thing I've ever had. I always drink them for my uncle's birthday every year. I go down there and do two or three of them and have a hard time walking up steps. But really, really good, and I like them. And this one would be one that I would actually order there, too. I, I feel like this is really good. But honestly, this one you can't go wrong with. 12.1%. Absolutely fantastic. And that's coming from me who doesn't normally do the beers of this color. No. So we're there. But I'm telling you, go grab one of these. If you've ever had this before, let us know. Drop it down in the comments. If you want to see us drink something else, let us know down in the comments. You got something new that's coming out that Keith don't know about? Good luck with that one, but if you have one, let us know down in the comments. We'd appreciate it. That'd be killer. Make sure if you guys are out there drinking with your friends, doing a thing, you're not drinking and driving because that's a horrible idea. Make sure you get home safe. Call an Uber. Get home. Do your thing. Make sure you guys are like, sharing, and subscribing on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. 
do all them things, get you a shirt. The link is down in the description. We appreciate all you guys. Have a great Thursday.